Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Prayer Center. I hope everyone is well. All right. I know I said I would get, was going to start rolling out the January read on Tuesday. And today is Wednesday. But unfortunately, um, yesterday morning when I woke up, my feet looked like a pair of footballs. And I had literal cankles, which is a reference to I couldn't tell where my feet stopped and my calves began because I had no ankles. So I had to sit in bed all day with my feet elevated above my heart to try to get the fluid to, to go back down where it was supposed to. And I did that long enough yesterday to be able to sit at the table and read today because it, it literally hurt to have my feet on the floor. <laughs> and it... It was just very bad. I go back to the doctor tomorrow. We're going to see what happens. See if we can get this under control. And I know a lot of it is the fact that I, I work 10-hour shifts at my job. And I work four straight days. And that's a whole lot of time to be up on your feet. Yeah. So. Anywho. Capricorn. It is still your season. So we're going to start this set out with y'all. This readings are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus for January 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. 2020. Wow. January 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. You choose to do anything at all. It's your turn and I'm, and I'm just reading the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Signs Arrow Table. And just a friendly reminder if it is absolutely not your reading, not your story, not your message, do not take any part of this. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take what does not belong to you because that's how fights get started. All right, Capricorn. Why are you here? Judgment reversed. Wow. Okay. Set that right there. If I can get it to stay. These cards are so bowed, it's ridiculous. There. Reger uh, reversal of judgment. Could indicate a return. Possibly a little bit of unfinished business. Hmm. Okay, well. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The High Priestess. Okay, so. You feel a connection, possibly a divine one. Hmm. That's a connection you feel in your soul. Wow. What do you think of them? Two of Pentacles could indicate a change. Balance. The coming together of two. Hmm. Well, what do you want from them? The tower. Speaking of change. Hmm. I'm not catching a catastrophic vibe off that. We'll throw a clarifier on it, but... I'm thinking you want change in a big hurry. Give that a minute. How do they feel about you? Ace of Swords. Ooh. New thought processes and new communication. What do they think? Princess of Cups. Hmm. It's 
It's all coming together for me. Communication. Somebody wants to pick up a phone or send a text message. What do they want? Ten of Cups reversed. Hmm. Could have something to do with that judgment reversed. Little table always shakes, doesn't it? Get up there. Hmm. This is why we clarify. Obstacle, Ten of Swords. The painful cycle is coming to an end. Possible resolution. Princess of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Huh. Can I get a little clarity for Capricorn? Oh, let's leave that right there till the very end. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Capricorn, please, for January 2021? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 2021. Still feels weird to say. Still feels weird. It's probably going to feel weird until like April. 2020 just kind of flew by. At least it did for me. These cards are going to argue about shuffling. I think that means that I'm done shuffling them. I'll try to get one more good shuffle out of it. Knight of Cups. I'm going to be fighting with that. Knight of Cups. Whatever. Crisscross. That's fine. Either you want to resurrect something or they do. Somebody holds a cup. I think it might be them. I got a funny feeling. Capricorn, I got a funny feeling that I think big change has to happen as far as you're concerned before anything can be resurrected. And well, let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Why is the High Priestess here? Ace of Pentacles. Chair Reverse. Well, there's one of the pentacles. Could be a small beginning. This could have been 
started a long time ago. This could be someone you've known for a while. It could be a past life. Or someone you've known a while in this life. Why the chariot reversed? Seven of Pentacles, the card of divine timing, waiting for something to fruit, waiting for the Pentacles to fruit. So I'm going to turn the chariot around though, it's closing a gap. You could feel the gap closing. That's a chariot that wants to turn itself around. Hmm. Could be a cancer you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be though. There is a lot of water on the table. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Ace of Swords. I said that right there. The thoughts there. The thoughts there. Why the Two of Pentacles? Queen of Wands, Temperance, it's fire. Card of Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Fiery, passionate, knows their worth, knows what they want goes after it. Another patience card. One more on that. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. We'll see if it comes back out. Nine of Pentacles. Independence, confidence. Nine plus two is 11, one plus one is two. We go right back to the two, it's the balance. The beginning or just after. You get along well. Okay. So you've known each other for a while. They're a confident person, well put together. Why the tower? Why the tower? Might have something to do with that ten of swords. And the ten of cups reversed. Why the tower? Usually, someone only calls for sudden and abrupt change when things need to change. Six of Cups reversed. Yeah, I think somebody needs to change their attitude because there's salty memories here. Sometimes those deep connections are the ones that hurt us the most. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you wanted to change your attitude. Because that Nine of Wands is one wand away. One wand away from being very burdensome. You want to stand up and fight. You want one last go around, but there's there's a little salt in the sugar. A little too much salt in the sugar. Sudden and abrupt change has to happen. Why is the Ace of Swords here? It's 
Somebody needs to get moved by the spirit. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Death reversed. Oh, how, how strange. I'm hearing you ain't changed one bit. Mm. That's how they feel about you. You think I need to get moved by the spirit? No, you need to get moved by the spirit. Mmm. Mmm. One more on that. Did I get a flipper? I thought something flipped. King of Cups reversed. Empress. The thoughts there. The ideas in their head. They feel like there's a possibility for growth, but they also feel like you're emotionally closed off and incapable of change. And they, they're also catching the vibe that you don't want to resurrect this, or at least not hastily. Okay. Why the Princess of Cups for what they think? Page of Cups. I love it. Did you see how that card just kind of flew out onto the table? It's the same card. Okay. Why? I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to say something. I know they want to say something. Okay. Why? I need it to be just a little bit more clear to me. Ten of Swords. There's pain there. There could be an apology in those cups. Or there should be. I know I screwed up, but um, I still hold a cup for you. I want to end the cycle. I want to end this pain with you, Capricorn. Okay. 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 Well. All right. Why the Ten of Cups reversed? The Lovers. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's that's a mood. Oh wow. Came out sideways. Wow. Capricorn, I think they want you back. I think they've learned their lesson. They want you back. They want the blessed union. They want you to choose them. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? 
They're not happy. They want the painful cycle to end. The sun. They want the connection back. They want the sun to shine in their world again. They want happiness again. All right, so why is this Ten of Swords hanging up, hanging out up here? I mean, we'll, we'll just go ahead and beat this dead horse. That's fine. Why is the Ten of Swords here for the obstacle? Two of Cups and Justice. We all know why Justice flies out of that deck probably has something to do with those ten swords. That's rough. One more. Got a two of cups and justice. You're going to dump salt in my sugar. I'm going to dump salt in your sugar. I think you guys hurt each other. The moon. There may have been deception. There may have been a little bit of dishonesty going on. I don't know on whose part, but... Why the Princess of Pentacles for the possible resolution? Why the Princess of Pentacles? Four Cups. Seven of Wands. This may call for contemplation. Possibly some battling of some inner demons. I don't know. Three of Swords. Why the Three of Swords? Shadow reversed. Okay. Shadow side reversed. Some... You ever have one of those clarity moments where like a light bulb goes on? Boop. There was lies and deception involved. Somebody may have been doing some shady stuff. Hearts got broke. I think people need to disconnect from the toxic crap in their lives and deal with their inner demons. And Capricorn, I think you really need to contemplate what's in that cup before you take it. I think this Princess of Pentacles is calling for a Slow down, don't jump into nothing. Unless there's a big old apology in that cup. For whoever's got to give it. I don't know. I wasn't there. All right. Outcome, Seven of Swords. I don't like that. I don't like that. Why the Seven of Swords? One card. The tower. Wow, Capricorn. Wow. All I have to say is wow. Do not tread lightly. 
do not tread lightly. Oh man. Don't even tread lightly on this. You really need to contemplate what's in the cup. And if change has actually occurred. All right, what do we got here? Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups reversed. Wheel of Fortune. Temperance reversed. I'm hearing don't let them try to buy you. Don't let them... Uh, okay, don't, them try, don't let them try to dry your tears with a golden tissue. I, I don't know what that means. I mean, I think I know what it means, but don't let them try to buy you. And this cycle may just have to come to an end. Sorry, it's hard to sort it out. Because there's too much salt in the sugar. There may be too much salt in the sugar to work this out. Y'all ain't getting along. There's too much negative energy between you. You may just want to allow this cycle to end specifically if they try to buy your affections. Nine of Cups upright, Queen of Cups in the reverse. You need to fill your cups and find your happiness and don't worry about filling theirs. You need to think about you and filling those cups with positive things and not negative ones. Don't, three of wands reverse, two of pentacles reverse. Don't wait around for change. Because you're going to be waiting at that dock an awful long time. Okay. I don't know who that was for, but Capricorn, there you go for January. <sighs> wow. Wow. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. And I will catch you guys Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. Be blessed.